to our Compound Machine by Timothy No, Michael Van Riesen, and Nick Batani. Uh, our, uh, our machine was called Miguel's Clouds. They're the data engineers. Yes. Um, our user de design brief. Our client company is called the Vaporlords. Our target consumer was the construction companies. And the lead engineers were Tim, me, and Nick. Uh, the problem was the one kilogram mass was supposed to be moved because, or lifted because it's too heavy to be picked up by hand. Uh, and the ma mass must be picked up by at least 12 inches. And the machine must be very cost efficient. This is our decision matrix. So we went through a couple of designs, and this is the one that we picked. We felt it would be the best. It's also the one that worked. Yeah, <laughs> the one that worked. This is uh, some of Tim's awful handwriting and brainstorming. As you can see, kind of see, we here we're thinking of uh, like a lever, which never made the final product. We do have the wheel and axle, though, and the pulley system. Here's a demonstration. Welcome to Miguel's dreams, or clouds, or whatever the hell. Let's see, yeah. it's lifting up. <laughs> Wait, if you want to go fast, you can hear. Science. See how big their belt is? Wow. <laughs> well worth it. And then you can also go backwards. It is very okay. efficient. So we're going to go through each individual simple machine. So first we have a gear and chain. The diameter of the in wheel was 86.95 millimeters. The diameter of the out wheel for the driven was uh, 102.64. So we got a gear ratio of uh, pretty bad. Our wheel and axle, uh, the diameter of the axle was 3.3 millimeters. And the diameter of the wheel was 65.86. So we had an IMA ideal mechanical advantage of 0.5. For our pulleys, we have an IMA of 3. And for our single little pulley down here, an IMA of 1. So our combined IMA is 6.23. Our AMA, actual mechanical advantage, is all, uh, you know, 3.19, but that doesn't matter because that gives you a staggering 51% efficiency, all for the low price that should be $40,000. I waited yesterday, it was $38. We'll now take questions from the uh, consumers. What areas did you run into? Uh, well, first our machine, our first like two machines just didn't work at all. And uh, we didn't like, uh, I don't know. What, what would you, how would you describe those machines? It would not have been efficient if they had worked. Yeah, they were very bad. They involved like levers and ramps and just stuff that was unnecessary. What influenced you? What really influenced us was truly the simple machines learning taught by Mr. Herman. And uh, I think that really inspired us to make just uh, an, you know, just such an average product, but such a great product, you know? What would you do? You get the best of both worlds on this one. Yeah, you get the efficiency, but you get the nice cost. Any more questions? Can you guys demonstrate it? Or oh, yeah. Like right on there? You got a mass? How easy is it to hook up and get going? It's very You see, you just got this little loop. Oh, never mind. I guess if you don't have a loop, <laughs> When you get it hooked up, come move out of the way. I'm going to zoom in on this okay. machine. So very easy to hook up, as you can see. Right, you want to raise it? And 
now. Here we go. Amazing. I'm putting I'm putting very little effort into this wheel. And look how far it goes. I mean that's that's amazing. What made you guys make the belt so big? It was really kind of just a um, just a, the, there was no reason. <laughs> it looks cool, yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice job.